Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am here with Stassi today, and we have another favorite product review. And first of all, before we get started, I wanted to show you my shirt, uh, because this is a favorite product as well. So, this is another Jadlyn Brook shirt, and I am hooked on their shirts right now. They have the cutest designs, and when I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, I have got to get this, because it's so true. And if you can make it out, it says, owner of the world's cutest pup. Let's see, let me move her out of the way so that you can see. Sit right here, baby girl. All right, there you go. Isn't that adorable? And it has little bows and bones on the sleeves and it is just so cute. So this is a retired style, but I was able to Google it and find out where to get it and I was able to get me one. Um, so I actually love this shirt. So check it out because I know you guys have the world's cutest pups as well. Right, Stassi? Yes. <laughs> All right, so in today's review, I am reviewing a water bottle stand that I just got. We actually got two of them. And if you are not using a water bottle, if you have a long coated breed with the mustache, you need to use a water bottle. They are the absolute best in keeping their faces dry. You want to keep their faces really dry because that will minimize the staining on their face. So the way that you do this is by using water bottles. But in order to use a water bottle, you need a stand. So I just got these new water stands in and I absolutely love them. Now, if you've seen the review on my water stands that I have, I still absolutely love them um, and they are wonderful. I love them. But when I saw these, I'm gonna let her down. When I saw these, I fell in love with them because I needed something with a smaller footprint for the RV. We have an RV and in the RV, I have a Rover pen that they stay in when we are not with them. And inside that little pen, because it's a small area, my regular water stands don't really fit because their footprint is much bigger. So when I saw these on Facebook, they're perfect because they have a very small footprint. So I will show you. So we got two of them and look how gorgeous. Look, Stassi, it's you. It's you, isn't this so pretty? And then look how small the footprint is. So it's very, very small. I think four inches in diameter actually. These are all custom made and hand painted by a lady called Barbara Brem. And she has a Facebook page and the Facebook page is Barbara Brem Art Artwork For You. So look her up on Facebook. She will paint whatever breed you have on your water stand. She also does beautiful artwork. Um, she does grooming stools and welcome signs and this lady can paint. She is so talented and so very sweet. And she painted this one for Stassi. I wanted a black. Um, I wanted the stand to be black and I wanted pink flowers, so she painted that. And then hopefully this is what Stassi is going to look like when she gets in full coat. It's her colors. She's got the black tips on her ears and um, the black eye stripes like she does. And I thought she did a fabulous job. Isn't this just gorgeous? It's actually made out of PVC pipe. So it's very lightweight. And um, on the flowers, I'm just noticing this, on the flowers, not only are they like pinks and purples, but I don't know if you can tell, but they're outlined in a gold paint. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I love this. And it's going to work out perfectly for the uh, RV because of its small footprint. So how this works is 
This fits a regular Lixit 32 ounce water bottle. And all you do, they had a little bit of water in there. All you do is put the water bottle in like this and then, oh, can't see that if I put it on the ground, but um, you have your water stand. So it works out perfectly. Now, the only negative that I am seeing is that it does not have a drip bowl. And you know, my other water stands do come with a drip bowl. This is dripping right now, actually. Um, so you will need to find a little small bowl to put underneath to catch the water in case it drips. So a little bitty custard bowl would work really well because the dogs will not be able to get their face down into um, that bowl and drink the water out of the bowl because you definitely want them drinking from the water bottle only. Um, so I am going to get that for myself so that I can put it underneath it to catch any water that drips. I do have some of those little glass custard bowls that are very small in diameter and that will work out perfectly. So this is how it works and it's beautifully all hand painted and I just think it is gorgeous. And I got two of them because Harper needs one as well. And look what she painted on Harper's, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Isn't this adorable? So I thought that she did a great job and this looks like my Harper. And so she has one on her side of her rover pin and then Stassi will have hers on the other side of the rover pin. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna test out when we go camping this weekend is the durability as far as tip, whether they're gonna tip over or not. I know that if you have these just in your home and they are sitting on the ground, they're not gonna really tip over. But in the Rover pins, like I'm going to use them, sometimes they get a little bit you know, anxious and wanna come out so they jump up on their pins and they move their pins. So what I'm thinking is if it, that is going to be a problem, I'm just going to do a bungee cord around this um, water stand to hold it so that it won't get tipped over. So there's always a solution to everything. Um, one of, if you've watched my, I think it was in the camping video that I did, I showed you guys like preparing for camping. That was the video, pre preparing for the camping trip. I showed you that I was going to bungee cord the water bottle to the edge of the rover pin. That didn't work. Um, and you know, I am, I'm always, you know, trying to find solutions for things and sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. And I'll make sure and come back and tell you guys when things don't work out. That didn't work out. The reason why was because I was actually bungee cording the bottle to the edge of the rover pin and it was creating a small pressure on the bottle. So it leaked really, really bad. So that didn't work out. So when I saw these and that they had the small footprint, that way they could fit in their small sections of their rover pin, I thought that this would work out absolutely perfect and I think that it will for sure. Barbara is also making me a custom welcome sign out of wood uh, with the stake that you put in the yard and it's going to be Harper and Stassi and it's gonna say welcome to our home or, or something like that. And I'll make sure and do a video on that so you can see how that comes out. We haven't gotten that one yet, but it should be soon because she's really quick. I just ordered these last week and I swear they came in in about a week. So that was awesome. And she did them exactly like I wanted them and I couldn't be happier with them. So if you're not using a water stand, make sure that you check out her website. It is Barbara Brim Artwork For You on Facebook. And I will leave the link to that in the description box below. I also wanted to tell you guys that I will be adding some more grooming videos coming up to the channel shortly. 
I was trying to figure out a way to get my camera to where you could see down onto the grooming table, and I think I figured out a solution. So hopefully in the near future you will be seeing more grooming videos because her hair is getting longer, and I'm starting to do things a little bit differently, not too much differently, but a little bit differently than I was doing in my last uh, morning routine videos. So hopefully I will give you guys some new content on grooming because I know I get a lot of questions on that. <laughs> All right, so we will see you guys later and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye. I also wanted to tell you guys that, ah, come on Stassi, cooperate, cooperate, cooperate. I also wanted to tell you guys that I am ordering. Uh, uh, stay still. Stay still. Stay still. What? You are the world's cutest pup. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are. What? I love you. Yes, I do. I love you so much. I also wanted to tell you guys that I am ordering a new tripod so that I can bring you some more grooming videos. I was trying to uh, figure out a way to hook up my camera so that you could see down onto the grooming area and I got an aha moment where I said, you know what, I just need a taller tripod. So I think that's gonna work. So be on the lookout for more grooming videos. I know you guys are very interested in grooming and I'm trying to, oh my goodness, would you stop? Please. Okay. Stassi, come here. Come here. She was, she was just going to town. So tell everybody, see you later and see you in the next video.